surgical repair of dynamic snapping biceps femoris tendon. The biceps tendon is located on the lateral aspect of the knee, consisting of a long head and a short head. The long head has two attachments with its direct arm attaching to the posterior lateral edge of the fibular head and the anterior arm attaching to the lateral edge of the fibular head. The short head likewise has two attachments with its direct arm attaching directly onto the fibular head and the anterior arm attaching to the lateral tibial tuberosity. Dynamic snapping is the occurrence of the biceps tendon noticeably popping during knee flexion over the lateral aspect of the fibular head, which occurs following damage to the direct arm attachments of both the long and short head. This noticeable snapping has been reported anywhere between knee flexion angles of 80 and 120 degrees. Following proper patient positioning and tourniquet placement, a standard lateral hockey stick incision is made. A section is conducted down to the superficial layer of the iliotibial band over the long and short heads of the biceps femoris. 5 to 7 millimeters of peroneus longus fascia should be incised over the common peroneal nerve to prevent nerve irritation or foot drop, and traction on the biceps tendon should be performed to confirm that it is not attached to the posterolateral fibular styloid. A bursa is visualized where the biceps subluxates over the fibular styloid. It is important to note that the common peroneal nerve runs inferior to the biceps tendon and should be directly visualized during the surgical approach. Elevation up the inferior aspect of the biceps at the fibular head occurs next, after which a clear attachment may not be easily identifiable. From the entire apex of the posterior lateral fibular styloid down to the lateral aspect of the fibular head, decortication is then carried out. Two Mitex superanchors are then placed into the fibular head and repair of the direct arms of the long head and short head of the biceps femoris upon the fibular head and styloid is then conducted. These sutures are then passed into their respective portions of the long and short head of the biceps femoris tendon. The sutures are tensioned to assure firm grasp on the tendon. This anatomic repair is performed with the sutures tied with the knee in full extension. The biceps femur should then be checked for proper restoration of its anatomic positioning. If stabilization is inadequate, a third Mitex super anchor may be used to reinforce the biceps femur's attachment to the fibula. The sutures are then once again passed through the long or short head of the biceps femoris for greater stabilization and the sutures are tied with the knee in full extension. This repair can then be reinforced with a number zero bicral suture. Upon successful testing of the biceps femoris and lateral knee stability restoration, Superficial layers can then be closed in a regular fashion using interrupted subcutaneous skin sutures in the deep dermal layer using number two vicral sutures.